So, Kathleen? I'm here. Okay. I'm trying to get away from my other phone. This It's like a whole studio in my house right now. Um, hi, everybody. Welcome to our Monday Empower Yourself Monday. And um, I'm going to go ahead and give the mic to our VP, Terry Michael. She's going to start off with us some breathing exercise. And then um, we'll introduce our uh, communicator of the week, um, Kathleen Hayden. And again, um, welcome, Kathleen. I'm so excited you're here. And uh, I've been telling people all about you because um, I'm, I'm into a non-fungible token. And it's all about music and vibration. And your company is perfect for it. So that's why I'm so excited you're here. So Terry, the mic is yours. Thank you, Tanya. Welcome, everyone. Just where you are, relax, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Again, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. One more time, inhale in and exhale. Relax your face, keeping your eyes closed. Relax your jaw, your neck, your shoulders. And while your eyes are closed, visualize the stress going down your arms and out through your fingertips. Relax your chest, your torso, your hips. Again, visualize the stress going down your legs, out through your toes. You're completely relaxed. Just gently breathing in and out through your nose. Any thoughts that come into your mind just let them float by like clouds in the sky. Another deep breath in, hold it. Exhale out. And the closing thoughts after this meditation is friendliness, compassion, and delight. Cultivate a calm mind. Practice the healing power of a compassionate mind. Open your heart to other people without judgment and radiate the message of delight at having them in your life. Namaste. May the divine in me honor the divine in you. Thank you all. I look forward to this Monday morning. <laughs> I was like, oh, I have to breathe now. That's so important. <laughs> so hi, Thank Emily. You. How's it going? Well, I'm going to go ahead and give our intro to our guest. Um, I went ahead and did a blog about her, a really quick one. So um, Kathleen Hayden is a uh, well-known speaker, presenter, and teacher, bringing the latest information on what she speaks. She has written training manuals, books, and articles. She inspires her audience with her knowledge and ability to engage the crowd. Kathleen Hayden is a well-known touch and movement expert featured in the movie Keep Keeper of the Keys alongside Jack Canfield and John Gray and many others. Kathleen's knowledge of health and wellness has always kept her at, at the forefront of the latest trends from Pilates, massage water, water, and sound therapy. Kathleen has been using FIM and vibrational products with her clients for many years and has seen the benefits firsthand. Her most exciting venture is introducing these amazing tools of the rest of the world via good vibration music. Welcome, Kathleen. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. I, I'm looking forward to this. Um, last night I was just telling someone about you and, and like I already think of like a really incredible NFT project for you, but you probably won't even know what I'm talking about. So let's just talk a little bit about yourself and about your company, Good Vibration Music Company. Actually, I was trying to play the music before we started. It sounded really good on my end, but Twitter does this whole like it crushes the sound. So I realized it sounded really bad. Um, 
on the Twitter space, so I turned it off. But I love your vibrational product. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your project, your company, uh, Good Vibration Music? I know it's a 5013C. Yes, we started Good Vibrations back in 2016. And as a official um, nonprofit company. And before that, we were doing uh, our water program called Aqua Motion. And Aqua Motion is body work in the water with sound and frequency under the water. And that's kind of what brought us to Florida from Colorado was to do our sound water program. And so we were contracted by Hippocrates Institute to build a waterbed there with sound. And so that was really exciting to be able to do that. And that brought us to Florida um, about nine years ago. And from there, we started working at Hippocrates, doing our program in the water and working with clients. And my husband, um, our composer, John Anthony, he developed the music to go along with the program because it was just too much to license music. And that's what began Good Vibrations Music Company was everyone was asking for our music after they had a session and we didn't have a way to give it to them. So we started making CDs and selling CDs back in 2016. And about 2018, 19, um, there was so many people that wanted a, the music. We switched over to a download. And so now you can download our music to any streaming device, your phone, your tablet, your computer. We also sell vibrational speakers that have our music on it, which you can use to sleep by. You can use it as a massage tool. You can use it to put on areas of pain. And you'll notice that that area of pain diminishes almost instantly. We have uh, right now to our library, we have about 150 albums. Um, covering anything from spiritual, physical, emotional, or um, trauma-based or medical-based that will help. We are very science-oriented. We work in the um, world of science, and we have lots of people that do research on sound. And so it's very exciting because we've been doing this for over 12 years, and we realize now that everything we did in those 12 years is bringing us to the point we are now of taking our music and it going globally. So our music is a global um, connection. And so we sell to all parts of the world. So that's kind of a little bit about Good Vibrations Music Company. So how did you um, get into um, creating it? I mean, like, I know you you explained it, but then, you know, I see your, your I looked up your, um, your, you're listed on, you have books on Amazon. Here it is. There you go. See, yeah. you got books, you got books, biography, blog, audio books, Kindle. Um, tell us how, how did you get in, like, you, you came down here because Hippocrates, but what, what, what did you start it out as? Being, like, did you go to school for communication? Did, are you an author? Because I mean, I see you got, you got a lot of books here. <laughs> well, it started, I was a water therapist and um, my degrees in um, biomechanics and kinesiology. And so when I started working in the, and I'm a PT, so I started working in the world of water back in Texas after I graduated. And I was a water therapist. So I worked with all types of people in the water, mostly people that could not be land on land with their illness or their injury or whatever it was. And so through that process, I became a Watsu practitioner. I learned a lot about massage. I became a massage therapist and started implementing those techniques in the water program, seeing how fast people would get well when they were in water. So as we were doing that program and I was trained in Watsu out in um, New Mexico at 10,000 Waves. It's a spa out there outside of um, Santa Fe. 
I was trained in Watsu and I started developing the Watsu characteristics in my therapy at the pool. And people were getting so much better because your organs float in the water, your body floats in the water. And so everything is released in the water, your traumas from your organs. Um, it's just amazing how your body does in water because we're 75% water ourselves. And so when we, um, I went on from that into Pilates world and opened up my first wellness center in Texas back on 9-11, the day 9-11 occurred, I was opening a Pilates studio and that kind of took me in a new direction. Um, and we started opening up the studio for people that were suffering from that situation and had trauma from that situation. And Terry was back with me in those days. She was working at American Airlines and we went into American Airlines and did massages and did stretching and relaxation techniques because of what had happened. And as a result of that, we put on a drive to help support 9-11 victims. And it became a big event with a radio station and the TV. And we ended up filling six 18 wheelers of supplies, filled with supplies to go to New York. And as a result of that, years later, after I had my center, people would still come in and say, I was here when you had that event. I want to come and see what you're all about. And so that's how I got into water initially. And from Fort Worth, then I moved to Colorado and was working in, in opening up a, another Pilates studio up there and just started working in the water. And when I did the movie Keeper of the Keys, we did um, a free event for all the cast members where we would take them through our water program. And one of the ladies that we met that during that process, her name was Regina Murphy, and she was working with frequencies in water. We did not have the frequencies, but we knew about frequencies. We had been working with a, a doctor out of our wellness center in Colorado, Dr. Lynn Cannon, who taught us about the benefits of frequencies, how to work with them, and was really teaching John, how to work with those in music. And when we met Regina, she wanted to do our program, but she said, come to my house. And she lived in Vegas where we were filming the movie at the time. So we went to her house and she was showing us about putting a little speaker into water. Um, she actually had a foot bath that she put the speaker into that played music that had frequencies behind it for healing. And she gave us that device and said, take it home and play with it. Well, we took it home and the first thing John did was put it in our bathtub and said, this is it. We need music with our water program. So he started looking to license music and found how hard that was and it wasn't the right type of music. Um, and he went on to start making music, like I said, to go into the water. And one thing led to another. We um, finished that movie. And from that point on, we started using frequencies in the water to, for healing. And that took us into sound therapy. We became sound therapists. Um, and then we work with several big sound organizations and we work with Jonathan Goldman out of Colorado. We work with the Global Institute out of California that does most of the research for everything with frequencies and putting it in use to heal. And so now we're into a, a program that I'm in school with right now, and it's called Sonic Science, which is a new type of science use, utilizing frequencies for healing and sound. And so now all the research has finally caught up to the work that we're doing. And it's a combination of having the science behind us along with the work. And we're looking forward to all the new places we're going and all the new things we're doing and 
And that's kind of what we are doing besides um, creating our vibrational products. We have that speaker that you talked about that can be downloaded with collections of 12 albums, depending on if you're struggling from sleep or anxiety or our top 12 con collection um, kind of covers everything. It has a pain track. It has a anxiety, depression. It has a chakra balancing. Uh, it has sleep. It has relaxation. And it's a good way to start because frequencies, everything has a resonant frequency. Our bodies have a frequency. Our pl The plants, this phone, this conversation on Twitter, all emits frequencies. And some frequencies are really good for you and some frequencies are not so good for you. And so you really have to be careful about um, when you're listening to frequencies to make sure that you're listening to frequencies that are really what they say they are, because there's a lot of false frequencies out there, especially on YouTube and places like that, that are not for the highest good. And so frequencies um, are what we're made up of. We're an electrical system. And our whole body runs on electricity in the meridian system of the acupuncture system. And so you, everything in our body has a frequency. Every organ has a frequency that it performs best at. Every cell has a frequency. And we have over 70 trillion cells. So when we are thinking of frequencies and music, it's kind of like putting together an orchestra for your body. And when your body is in disharmony or not um, in the correct frequencies, it creates a symptom called dis-ease in our body. When we're out of balance, we're out of harmonics. And so what I, we are trying to do is bring your body back into harmony, bring your systems of your body back into harmony to work correctly to have that orchestra that's in perfect tuning. Um, and so um, that's, that's a little bit in a nutshell. Do you have any questions about that? I don't know. I love it. Actually, I'm trying to get Steve Ryan, who is a community leader in um, Twitter spaces. He does, he, this is what he talks about. He actually, I, I uh, featured him. He has a, a project called NFTs for Freedom, and I was trying to get him in to, to talk to you because he's he's talking about vibration also. And then Louis is also um, is one part of my part of my music NFT um, project I'm working with. So he he totally understands about vibration and, and health. And then for 432 um, HC, I, I never can pronounce that word. Hertz. 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 Yeah. I was thinking. Uh, so yeah. So like I. I'm looking at your website and, and I always would think that, you know, autism uh, with your vibration is fantastic. And so it's Alzheimer. And so last I'm reading this and say you have 800 downloads uh, that, that you supported. You give back. I, I give we give the reason we're a nonprofit is so that we can give our music and our products away to communities and charities that we support. And so one of our biggest support. Um, groups that we support is our autism community, our PTS community, and Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's, and um, and those are charities that are really near and dear to us. And so we give away a lot of music downloads, but we also give away speakers to those organizations to, so that they can use them in their group settings. Um, and so it's very exciting what is happening. We record in 432 hertz. And hertz, just to let your audience know what that means, it's just a measurement of how many times a vibration occurs in a second. So 432 hertz means it, something is vibrating 432 times a second. And so with me, I'm going to share one of your speaker out. So we don't have it. I'm going to share the speak the what you're talking about out. So we'll just way I'll pin it to the net so everyone can see the speakers because um, I really love mine. I got mine from Terry, by the way. So I love oh, mine. Yeah. Terry is one of our best sellers. Thank you, Terry. Um, 
You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and so with um, 432 hertz, it connects to sacred geometry, which is a mathematical formula. Everything in our world is in harmony with each other and it resonates at 432 hertz and that's a perfect harmonic um, way to play music standard tone is 440 hertz and so when you change the toning just those few beats those eight beats 432 to 440 it creates a uh, resonant frequency that aligns with nature and sacred geometry, which is all based on the pie, the um, sacredness of everything in our world. And so we decided to go with that tuning to just be in harmonics with nature. And the most important thing is the intention of what you are producing. And so one of the things that Jonathan always, Jonathan Goldman always says is if you put intention with frequency, it creates a healing. And so our intention is for healing with all of our music on whatever level you need, whether like we said, whether it be physical or spiritual or mental or emotional or any of those, um, we want to create a healing from our music that brings your body back into harmony. And so we do a lot of stuff in nature. We live on the ocean. We're on the ocean. We're a body of water. We really um, focus on water and the importance of water in your own body, but the importance of water because our world is 70% water as well. So we create music that goes into the water for healing. We were part of Dr. Emoto's tribe, the water tribe, until his death. And we learned so much about what your words can affect. And when your thoughts your thoughts become your words, your words become your actions and your actions determine who you are. And so one of the things that we really concentrate on is the importance of your thoughts and words, especially on your water. And so when you drink your water saying thank you to the water saying thank you, because the water has the oldest memory of anything on our earth. So uh, when you play our music in water, it goes into your body five times faster than if you're on the land. So that was why our water program was created to be able to take someone into the water with music under the water for extreme healing. And that's kind of what we did at Hippocrates. And have done at many of the country clubs around um, Southeast Florida. We've gone in and taught their staff how to use music and water in combination for healing. You know, I never thought of that. Like, like Kat Kathleen, you know what? I, I love that you're here. We're, do we're talking about this. I didn't even dawn on me that you and Terry have known each other that long. Um, the history. And, and when you call me, I was like, why do I want to recognize that number? I thought it was because usually Terry calls me from that area code. So I was like, oh, that's not Terry. And that's why I was like, oh, oh my goodness. So I didn't dawn on me that you guys have known each other. And so like the, the one that I have got from Terry, can I put it in a bag and put it like in a sealed water bag? Or how does that done? Can I, you know, has anyone done that? Put your no, speaker in a bag? We actually have water speakers. We oh, yeah, actually speakers. have a, a device, a amplifier that has a water, two water speakers that you can, it's the size of, you could use it in your bathtub or you can use it in your hot tub or a small, maybe eight by 10, 10 by 10 pool. That's our small speaker. But in order to go into a regular pool, like we do, we have a commercial speaker that is used with the, uh, it's the same speaker that's used in the Olympics for synchronized swimmers. It's made by the same company. And so our, because our amplifier is battery around water, but also if you did plug it in, you could kick it in and it has enough protection. You would not get shocked in the water. 
And so the actual speaker goes under the water and the amplifier is out of the water on the pool side. Okay. Um, can I put that, can I put it, can I say something like that put in my jacuzzi? Yes, you, you can. I just did it last night in my bathtub. Oh, you're doing it in your bath. Oh my gosh, we're going to talk. So, um, so yeah, I, I feel like good, but uh, the music and vibration is so important, um, and especially for your health and well being. But w when you were um, going through your journey and your self discovering and creating and everything's like, you know, like, and I think you and I talked about this nothing is a coincidence, everything was meant to be. Right. Like what, what you meet, what you, people you meet, how you meet them, is, is, it was meant to be. It was never a co coincidence. So, so where are you at today? And now, um, what, what is your next step? I mean, you, you wrote books, you're um, a speaker, you have this incredible 5013C. Are you going to continue uh, growing it? And especially now with a lot of uh, medical information about autism and, and a lot of people are identifying as being autistic at, at, as an adult because they didn't know because they had a lot of... Uh, learning issues and then they're, now they're finding out that a lot of adults are autistic and they didn't they were never you know um diagnosed you know we love working with um special populations because we learn so much ourselves and we feel like um the autism is really our gifted population that we need to learn from not that they need to fit into our box because they really are gifted and talented. And what we have found with autism, and we spoke at the National International Autism Conference a few years ago, is that all of them love music. And the music really settles them down because it reminds them of frequencies from where they came. And they're used to our music and they're used to the frequencies. And so when you give them a speaker to hold and they feel that vibration, it's like magic for them. And putting them in the water with the speaker underwater, all they want to do is go down and listen to that music even deeper and more because they feel the vibration. And that vibration is what stimulates them. And it reminds them of coming back into balance and harmony. So it, we love working with that population because they are so joyous and happy to have something that they relate to that is very important to them. Music is a very important aspect for autism. And so is water. They love going in the water. They love being in the water, hearing the music, and it calms them right down. It calms the parents down. It calms the caretakers down. We just did an event a couple of months ago with uh, the Turtle Association here in Southeast Florida, and they have a sidearm called Eye Care, which works with special populations. And we did a float class with adults that had um, special needs. And one of the adults was 28, six foot two, very hard to manage. Um, and he got in the water and I was the one that worked with him. And after about five to 10 minutes, he completely relaxed and settled into the water. And his, I, I did not see it because I was working with him, but I was told later that his caretaker and his mom were on the side crying because they had never seen him relax in 28 years like that. And he went on to sleep that night, the best he had ever slept. So we are going to start doing um, bi-monthly um, water sessions with a lot of these young adults just to give them that moment of freedom from their bodies that is so hard for them on a daily basis. Getting them in water is like putting them in a bath and going, oh, I'm home because they can settle down. They're not restricted. They have that freedom in the water to just relax and unwind. And I think that that is incredible in itself. And as far as good vibrations, we're going in a lot of um, new directions. I'll put it that way, especially with all the science and research coming out and working with um, groups of people that are discovering it and discovering the music and discovering what we do. 
Um, I was just on a call this morning working um, with a woman that does shaman and she's a singer songwriter out of Nashville. And she does a lot of um, Indian um, things, um, rituals, and and she runs a school and stuff. And she is interested in developing this water piece in part of her school because she feels like water is the key, especially with frequency. So every day is a new opportunity, I guess you would say, Tanya. And we just wait and see which opportunity is going to be best for really the world and best for us. Since we are a music company, we try to stay in those guidelines of music and vibrational products. But I can see in the future where um, rooms are going to be built with frequency infused floors for um, classes such as yoga and meditation and Tai Chi. We have a yoga platform. It's called the platform, which is a wood platform, all natural with all green um, finishes, custom made here in the U.S. And that platform is going to be rolled out, I feel like, in this next year. We've had it for about six or seven years, but no one was quite ready for it. And so we're seeing a lot more use in our yoga platform that's coming around for vibration and healing. And I'm going to be using it to teach classes for higher consciousness this summer and um, kind of as a prototype to see how it goes for higher conscious learning with um, a platform that you can stand on, sit on. Um, Like I said, do Tai Chi, do Pilates, do meditation, and that's going to open up some new doors, I feel like, in new directions. But we just kind of have the bed too, because you know who has that? Dr. Kumar has a bed, like a vibration bed in his office where he puts the VR glasses on his patient and they listen, they pick the music they want. So we're incorporating music NFT to it. I've been talking to him because the vibration of the music NFT, I feel like it's, it kind of reminds me of your music. I don't know if you've ever heard of music NFT or not, but as um, we have Louis in the space that I would love for him to come up and kind of talk a little bit about it because he he does that. But that's what you're you're. Um, I'm so excited for you because um, I feel music and vibration and um, it's such a key to one's health, you know. So when I when I listen to a music NFT, when because I I promote um, uh, music NFT, so when I listen to it, I can feel my whole body vibrate. So I. So that's why I think, you know, it's, uh, it, it might have some type of, I don't know, something that we can do together or I can introduce you to some people because I would love to see you get into an uh, NFT project, maybe with your speakers, different t- color speakers, and then you could have unlockable things. I'll talk, I know it's going to go right over your head, Kathleen. <laughs> Louis, grab the yeah. mic. But um, yeah, you're going to be, it's going to go right over your head. But it's, I, I was, even Terry's like, you have to talk to her about what you're doing with uh, music NFT. So that's so why. What I'm, does the NFT stand for? Non fungible tokens, and it's part of the blockchain. Okay. So the, and the so the 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 people the people who creator. Here you go. Louis will tell you more because Louis and I'm the promoter, but Louis is the one that he's incredible. Hi, Louis. How are you? Hi, hi. How's it going? Happy Monday. How's it going? Happy Monday. So Louis is a music. Uh, he is a an NFT musician. So he creates. A lot of music. So um, we, this is the stuff we talk about, don't, don't we? <laughs> we talk about this all the time, actually, about the vibration, how when you listen to the music. So I feel like your project would be an incredible project if, to come together. And then, then this way you can actually, um, th- there's different ways you can do it. Like you, your, your NFT would be, I would say, your speakers, your different speakers that you already have already. And then the unlock- unlockable content can be about um, the, the music. It could be you can have it unlockable and then and actually um the proceeds would go toward your nonprofit. that's what a lot of the nft projects are doing they're raising money and awareness uh, for social um projects or giving back or donating to charity a lot of them doing stuff for the ukraine a lot of them are doing stuff for the homeless and, and a lot of them for doing music for autis- autism i just thought i looked at your project um i look at uh good music by vibra- good vibration music am i did i pronounce that right um i feel like it 
you can actually create a whole project plus more because you have so much content. Right, Louis? What did you think? Absolutely, Kathleen. I really love your concept and, um, you know, what you were creating with your music and, and even the sound waves. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a very spiritual person as well. I make music to inspire others and to empower others. So, so initially, um, you know, healing is, is, is a huge part of inspiring and to, to, for you to find out what water can do with the music to me, that's, that's extremely, um, in, in, intriguing and, and interesting to me because I know water, um, when, you know, I, I'm big on, into manifestations, um, and I'm big into like thoughts rehearsals and mental rehearsals specifically. Um, and I meditate and I, I, I do, you know, my own ways of, of yoga as well too. And so initially it does make sense to me. I'm not too, um, informed about, um, uh, about like the water and, and the music. That's, that's why I was very um, intrigued to, li to listen to you and, and share with, with, with what you had to say. Yeah, I would love to connect with you. We're always looking for musicians as well to complement our team. And something that we also do that I haven't talked about is that we put on concerts with our music at the um, Cox Science Center up in West Palm Beach. We have a concert coming up May 11th with one of our team members. His name is David Kennett, and he was an acapella singer. And he sings in Hebrew and plays all the instruments that we use. So we are um, highlighting him for our next concert series along with our music as well. And it's a beautiful dome shaped building. It's a planetarium. It's in the round. And as you know, sound is spherical. And so the sound that goes through this planetarium amazingly. And so we have a live show where he plays bowls and flutes and drums and and you name it and takes us takes you on a journey of uh, just this primal sound voyage. And that's coming up May 11th. If you're in the area, check it out. It's um, it's going to be amazing concert. We do them about every six weeks. And then we also align the sky with the concerts. So the last concert we did was on 22222, And we had sacred sites from all over the world. And that we showed the night skies from connecting to those sacred sites. As we were doing a concert for bringing in the manifestation of that day. And this year. So check us out on that. That's something that we love and is really powerful when you sit in that space and have this music surrounding you and going through you, you walk out a different person. Now it sounds definitely sounds like an experience. Um, you know, I definitely, um, definitely intrigued and de definitely interested. This is definitely, um, you know, what I do. And, and, um, one of the big reasons on why I do it, because I want to, you know, heal people and inspire people and motivate people to do what they can do. Um, no matter where they come from, no matter who they are, no matter what they, they experience in life, because, you know, we can all heal and, um, you know, if, if, if we just find, you know, the right way. So definitely Kathleen, I see that, um, is this like, is this your Twitter? Um, yeah, I just got on it, so I'm not familiar with Twitter. It's not one of the platforms I use for my, our business, but um, I'm sure Tanya can connect us in another way. Yeah, we way. could do like a Zoom call or something, but I think I have Steve, who is um, Steve Ryan. He goes by Steve Ryan Online. He's right there. I love for him to catch a mic because when I met Steve before he founded NFTs for Freedom, it's a huge community that he started and they're raising uh, money and really Ethereum. I mean, that's what we're into the blockchain and they're raising a lot of uh, projects and raising people up and helping people but uh, and educating people too. But Steve is actually, um, he talks about this too. He talks about um, the music and mindfulness and the meditation and stuff. So I want him to pop up and I want him to meet you actually, because I think the two of you guys meeting would bring together a, a synergy because um, Steve is really into the NFT and he's helping people who have projects launch and also giving them some tips and ideas. And so he hosts these long spaces and he does his mindful spaces. 
So um, I think he's probably busy, so I can't grab the mic. But I gave him the mic. But I'd love for him to pick up the mic. But if he can't, we'll, we'll have to uh, create another um, space so you guys can meet. We can do like a music space, music, music and vibration and wellness. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, I would love that. I would love to meet Steve and um, and the team and and see what you know synergistically we can do together. So tell me about your event on May 11th. Oh my gosh, I I, I looked at it. I, I tried to share it out, but it's on Facebook. So um, I'm gonna pin it later. I'm gonna tweet it out later when I when I log into my Facebook account. But um, you, the the person that you are having playing the music, I think I, I was looking at it, is David Kenneth. David Kenneth, yeah. And he's a well-known sound healer in Southeast Florida. He's actually living in New York. And um, his dad was a Broadway producer and he would belong to an acapella group and was a singer and traveled all over the world and brought back this knowledge of singing and frequency and vibration. And now he does it in sacred ceremonies and rituals and one-on-one -on -one sessions. And he has just recently joined up with us so that we can work together because we want to spread our work to other facilities, other planetariums, other event centers. Um, our biggest goal right now is there is an event center opening in Vegas next year that is an actual sphere, the largest building in Vegas it will be. And it will have the capacity for about 17,000 seats. And it will be an interactive space where frequencies can be shot to each individual seat, specific frequencies for specific experiences, for specific um, environments. And it's also connecting with VR. I know someone was saying VR. Um, and there will be shows being shown on the inside and the outside that will be in Vegas. That so that there will always be something showing on the outside of the building and on the inside of the building. And I'm in conversation with them about what that would look like to have a sound concert there and how that could happen because they have smaller venues, they can make them smaller. But I really see the VR piece um, coming together with our music. In the future, um, I'm talking to several people about that, some big companies about integration of music and VR technology. So I don't know where the next year is going to go, Tanya, but it's exciting. I do. I do for you. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> Louis is going to help you. <laughs> okay. Um, I, yeah. I really do because I, I feel like your pro your company can be. An incredible music NFT, I, I, actually a, an NFT project. Um, and I mean, I, I, with a token and everything. So like all these in real life events you're doing, it will go hand in hand with it. So, and we'll talk more about it. Um, does anyone um, in this space would like to ask for some questions? We have about, 15, about 14 minutes. I want to be mindful of her time because we're going to uh, end sharply at uh, 11 o'clock. Oh, hi, Donna. I'm going to see if she wants to pop in. So. Kathleen, um, when you were a little girl, is this what you wanted to do when you grow up? I, I just had to ask that question. <laughs> you know, that is a great question. I had no idea. I am not a musical person, but I taught dance for 25 plus years. So I'm really into music. And my parents ran a, ran a teen canteen back in the day with my brother and every Friday night we had music and dance and all that so I grew up in that environment and then I went my first career was teaching aerobics um, dance and um, went on to get a minor in dance and choreography but never did I think I'd be running a music company <laughs> I mean and, and so it's interesting. Yes. I, no, it was not something I thought I'd grow up and be. <laughs> Emily, did you want to ask a question? I did. So 
I I will tell you, like I recently did one of the float tanks and with yeah. they do like the so you float and they've got the music and the vibrations, all that, and it was amazing. Like absolutely I don't think I've been that relaxed ever. Um and so I'm a big believer in all of this, and I do a lot of work in the boating industry and um particularly like in the yachting industry. And I was wondering, like, does somebody have to be submerged in the water, or could this be something where it could be done? on a boat because you're surrounded by water, you would still have that same effect? Well, my one of my big projects, and it's kind of on hold right now, is to get the boats on our ocean and our waterways to play our music to heal the water. And so when you talk about that, that just excites my soul because the water is my love. And I love the water of any kind. And I've been in the water all my life. And so, yes, you can have these experiences on a boat. And you can also heal the water but because the boat becomes the amplifier. So if you're playing the music through the boat, um, say through the sound system on the boat, the fish are also hearing it. And everything underneath the water starts to heal as well well then you and i should get in touch because mm -hmm. i work with a lot of boats yeah. and we yeah. curate playlists for the boats and things like that and i would be happy to work with you on some of that and i also work with the boat shows and they do a lot of um non work with healing the oceans and so this could be a project where we might even be able to get like every boat at the show to play the, your music at the same time, you know, I mean, oh, we, that would be amazing. Yeah. So we should definitely discuss that. Definitely feel free to shoot me a DM or get, and you know, I can send you my information, but we, we should talk because I think that would be pretty cool. And I am fully submerged, no pun intended in the yachting industry and being able to make those connections. Well, that is, was is part of coming up. We we our next boat show really is October down here. There's you know boat shows everywhere, but down here in Florida, our next one would be the Fort Lauderdale boat show. But that's the world's largest boat show, so uh, definitely we if you're going to get it together anything. by then. I'm sorry. I said we can get it together by then. Oh, for sure. We're we're like right in the heart of boat show planning right now with all of our clients, and so now is like a perfect time. So I was very excited that to hear the things you were talking about today. I was like, oh, this could be a great match. Oh, I'm so excited. And we will get together. That would be great. That would be amazing. Awesome. Um, that's part of the work we did with the Moto's Tribe is that we took our music and developed music for healing for the water. And so um, we did a big event about five years ago down here in Delray Beach. And we played our music into the intercoastal. And then we took the music that we had composed for the water and took it up to Lake Okeech Okeechobee when we were having all the algae blooms. And we went with a Native tribe, a Native American tribe of elders. And we prayed and we did intention work on the water. And it was shortly after that that everything started changing. So in the waterways. And so I do a weekly practice of putting the speaker in the water on the intercoastal. And that's something I do for personally because our waterways are getting so polluted, especially our intercoastal waterways, which affect our oceans, which affect everything. So um, I would love to talk to you about that. Awesome. Yeah, I definitely, I just, um, I just followed you. And we can DM and exchange some phone numbers and emails and get in touch about that soon. That sounds great, Emily. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I'm excited to potentially work with you on this. Okay, great. What an exciting day. What a great way to start a Monday, Tanya and Terry. I'm so appreciative. Oh, our pleasure. Uh, I've been dying for you to get on this. I'm so happy that you're you're with us right now, Kathleen. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's so much to get together, all of us collectively and work together and really heal our planet. And so to have all these amazing people in one place, what a gift.
Yeah. Let, let us know how we can help you, Kathleen. Okay. Okay. That I, sounds I'm here. For, you know, I'm always here for you. <laughs> yes, I know you are. <laughs> Wow, that was like very beautiful. Um, you know, Kathleen, Gina, and I, I know you're new into this space, and that's that's what the Web three is all about. You know, it's about networking, connecting, and meeting. You know, genuine people. Your vibes attract your tribe. So, Kathleen, I appreciate your story, your information, your knowledge. Thank you. Thank you, and I look forward to getting with you, Louis. Yeah, I'll, I'll introduce us. We'll do a Zoom call. Um, I'll try to get Steve on it. I, I really feel your project. I keep saying project because it's it's more than a project. But, um, uh, that I, I feel that with Web three, like what everything you've been doing is actually Web three. I feel like doesn't it? That sound like Louis? Because like it's for music or vibration. When I and, and it didn't even dawn on me until like I was just playing with your speaker and then I held it. I go, wow, this feels like what, what I listen to when I put my headphones on my uh, iPad Max. You know. When I put it on, and then it's like I can hear um, like the vibration and everything, and that's what it reminded me of was listening to music NFTs, was listening to your music without the speakers. Absolutely, and to add to that, you know, she was also mentioning virtual reality, and as she was just, you know, um, talking about it, you know, um, you know, virtual reality is um, is 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 um, it's like uh, I guess like a glass. So like let's just say, let's let's just say you know I guess it adds like the concept of that right. Just to add like like some ideas and to like create some ideas. If you put yourself under the water, if you put an individual under the water, and then have them to go into like the metaverse while play, playing that music. So being underwater and being mentally somewhere else, right? While still being uh while still having a music or a music frequency being played, um that would maybe potentially create a better experience. I don't know, you know, just just a just a thought, right? I'm very curious about the VR industry. I'm not familiar with it um, very well, but I've heard of potentials and just the fact what interests me a lot is people that can't go places, say someone that's homebound or someone that's hospital bound or children that can't get out of the hospital, whatever. If you could take them and put the music with experiences that they could go on, wouldn't that be a powerful thing? Absolutely. Um, there was even stories that um, people even live better lives in the metaverse than um, than their own in real life situation. So having um, you know, hearing those type of stories definitely definitely can be moving. In. And this, this technology is definitely gonna um, you know change the world. And and Kathleen, you're definitely in, uh, on the right path. And I would love to to support you and contribute to that as, as well too. Okay. Thank you so much. Well, Kathleen, thank you so much for being here. And everybody, thank you so much. Um, any final words? Terry, do you want to give some final words? Well, the only thing that I can say is I have my speaker going in my house 24-7. <laughs> and um, it's it's the, one of the best things. And it's helped so many people. Uh, but it's really just one aspect of Kathleen's um you know what she did what she produces i mean there's just it's, it's just a whole world out there of uh and i know kathleen's vision and i'm here to support it thank you so much terry you've always been there thank you so much no problem no problem Kathleen. and um emily any final words just a big thank you to kathleen this was a really amazing space today and I learned a lot um, and I can't wait to connect. So I'm excited and thank you, Terry, for introducing us to her. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah, same here. And Louis, any final words from you? I mean, you know, besides, you know, the the thankfulness that, that I have in my heart, but, um, you know, I'm, one of the things that I, that I did, you said you were a dancer, right? You said you were mm -hmm. a dancer and, um, right, so how did, um, how did you, um, I'm not sure, maybe, maybe I missed it, right? How did that love for water or the interest for water pop up? Well, growing up in Texas, we were surrounded by water. I, I was raised in water from infancy. And um, we had a boat on the lake. We had a pool. I was a lifeguard. I was on swim team. I was, you know, everything you can do in water, I've done. 
I taught aerobics and water. I, <laughs> I, I've done everything. And so I just think I'm one of those people that just love water and I always have. And I live right by it. I have to live by water. Um, it, it fuels my soul. So I guess that's how I'm affiliated with water. Absolutely. Water, um, when, when in a human, when, in, in, when an individual is in water, their, um, their insights become very, um, like sensitive and it's, they could really like, um, like, like me, like I can meditate in water much better than, than I meditate in, um, in non-water. So, um, so like to have that interest, I mean, it's, it's super interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm very intrigued. Okay, good. Well, you'll have, we'll have to get all get together, Sarah. You'll have to arrange this at the pool where you are, um, maybe, but to try the water program. Sure. Sure. Sounds good. So it is two minutes. So Kathleen, can you tell our listeners how to get a hold of you? The best way to get a hold of me is through our website. And that's um, goodvibrationsmusicco.com. And just send me a text or reach out and call me. Our number's on there. Um, that's probably the best way to reach me. Or email me at Kathleen Hayden at gmail.com and it's Hayden H A D E N no Y. So it's Kathleen Hayden at gmail.com is the best way probably to reach out to me. Perfect. Thank you everybody. And we'll be back next Monday for another episode of empower yourself. Monday is our episode 17. We'll be our uh, season two. Um, I'm, I'm learning from my, uh, co my other show. My co-host is like, We've gone to season one. Now we're going to season two. So we are now in season two next uh, <laughs> Monday. <laughs> Again, everyone, uh, thank you so much for joining us. And we'll be back next, next Monday for another episode of, of Empower Yourself Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you have a communicator or anyone that you feel that has an empowerment story, please um, DM me or DM AWCSF or Emily or Terry, and um, we will get back to you and put you on the schedule. And again, thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate you for being here. And thank you, um, Steve and my, my good friend, Alberto, and also Chanel and Brent and Michelle. And Michelle, we need to talk and catch up. And also, um, Abdul, thank you for being here. And everyone, have a great Monday, and let's stay empowered. Thank you. Love you, everybody. Mwah. Thank you. Bye.